And welcome back to TV Pow. Good morning. Right, our first three contestants for this bracket are Dean Chavot of uh, Hara, Michael Spilsbury of Sandy Bay, and Jason Christie of Corella Street in Hara. Now, the prize is you're all going to get yourselves one of these. A Sarah Dane book for, for those people who win the bracket, you will get one of these, but everybody will receive one of these. A mixture of all bits and pieces, Houdini's magic, um, amateur mechanics, uh, drama for the children, canoeing, a, a soccer book, Soccer 82, all sorts of bits and pieces there, so everybody's going to get something. Also, we've got a couple of driving passes, uh, I mean, theater passes to give away. So it's certainly worth writing into TV Power. I'll give you that address again that you can write to. It's uh, TV Power, box 1406P, GPO Hobart 7001. And on the back of that, put your name, your address, and your telephone number, okay? And please don't forget your address because we have received some applications without an address on, so we just don't know where you live. And we have to post the, post the prizes out to you. If you don't come in and get them anymore, we're posting everything out to you. Let's move up a little bit closer so you can see me, all my pimples. Us young guys do get them too, you know, so if you've got them, don't worry. Right. I think we're just about ready to play TV Pow, are we? No, Bob? Bob is our cameraman. I talk to him. He tells me what's happening. Yes, he says everything's right, Jim. So I'll do. I'll pick up the phone here. And we should be talking to Dean with a bit of luck. No, we're not talking to Dean, right? Just hang five, Dean, if you're there watching the telly. Don't worry about it. I'd just like to tell you some things that are in these books. They're all bits and pieces. I was reading in this one here, strange facts like, um, did you know that in a million seconds, a lot of people don't know what really a million seconds are, but a million seconds, you are 11 and a half days old. Can you believe that? I can hear somebody talking. Yes, everything's right. Here we go. Dean, you can hear me. You'll have to speak up a little bit. Can you do that? Pardon? Can you just speak up just a yes. little bit? Good. Didn't your sister play before? No, it was my brother. It was your brother, was it? I thought it was the same address. I thought, oh, I always got two applications in. Right, you know how to play then, don't you? Yes. How many did your brother get? Five. He got five. Do you think you can beat that? I don't know. Well, you're going to have a try, aren't you? Yes. Okay, you've got 15 seconds and it starts right now, okay? Off you go. And that funny little noise means that yes. the game's over. Okay, did you see what you scored? Yes. How many did you get? Four. Yeah, which is just one off, isn't it? Yeah. Is your brother older or younger than you? Pardon? Is your brother older than you? Yes. He is? Oh, well, that's not too bad. Well, I'll put your score down for you. Remember, you'll get a prize anyway, and if you're the highest scorer, you'll get other bits and pieces as well, okay? Thank you. Right, thanks for playing, Dean. Ta-ra. Bye. Oh, two from the same family, I think. There's other people in that family as well. I think we got um, about 15 letters from that, um, the Chavot family. Right, we've got our next caller on the line, who is Michael Spilsbury. Michael. Yeah. Oh, how old are you, Michael? Uh, 13. 13. And you're from Sandy Bay? Yeah. Have you been watching this every week? Yeah, just now. And did you send your application in straight away? Uh, no, I sent it in the second week. You sent it in the second week, did you? Well, you know how to play then, don't you? Yeah. Right, you've got 15 seconds and you've only got four to beat and starts right now. Okay. Ow. Ow. There's one down. Ow. Ow. Two. Ow. Three. Ow. Four. Did you see what you scored, Michael? Yeah. Yeah, you got the same as Dean got. Mm. Now, if um, nobody, if the other person doesn't get as high as I will, uh, perhaps they might all get four. You never know. We'll see what happens. Okay, thanks for playing. Please. And don't forget to send in another application because we'll be changing our game in a couple of weeks. Okay. Okay, ta-ra. Ta. For those of you who will be playing this morning, don't forget to um, turn your TVs down because we'll get a little bit of feedback through the studio, okay? Our next contestant is um, Jason Christie, and he comes from Howrah. And all I'm doing is just waiting for the people up in our control room to, to dial through. And he's right. Oh, great.
Jason. Yes. You'll have to speak up just a little bit, okay? Right. Right, that's fine. How old are you, Jason? Seven. Seven. I think that means you're, you're our youngest contestant this morning. Are you ready to play TV, pal? Yes. Good. Do you think you can beat four? I'll try. Oh, good. Best of luck, mate. Off you go. Pow. Pow. Slow. Come on! Well, Jason, you got two. Which isn't bad, seeing as you're only seven. Okay? And don't forget, you'll still get a prize, all right? Right. We'll send you out a book. Right, thanks for playing, Jason. Right. Ta-da! 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 Well, we got a tie for that first game. We got um, Dean Chavo who got four, and we got Michael Spilsby who also got four. So um, we'll have to sort out what we're going to see you do about that. What I'll do is I'll tell you the next three contestants before we go to another cartoon. The next three contestants will be Andrew Mitchell Moore from Brighton, Diana Smith from Lauderdale, and Robin James from Moona. Okay, you'll be receiving a telephone call in the next half hour or so to play TV Power. In the meantime, it's off to go and see Baggy Pants and the Nitwins, and I'll be back in about 25 minutes. Okay, ta for now. We'll give you 15 seconds, and I wish you the very best of luck. Off you go. Come on, one more, one more. Now get this one. Oh, no. Well, I suppose you know that you got four. Yes. Oh, dear, Andrew. I hope we all don't get four this morning. I certainly hope... Is your mum or dad there? Yeah, mum and daddy. Is your dad up? Yes. Can you get him to the phone? See, how, see what your dad can do. See if your dad can get more than four. What's his name? Ron. Ron. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. Moore. I'm going to talk to Mr. Mitchell Moore. Hey there, Ron. Ron! He's coming. This is Ron. This is Andrew's dad who's going to have a go. Are you there? Yeah, here he comes. Good. Hello. Good morning, Ron. Ron, this is This is Jim Shoes down at Channel 6. I, we've, we've had a lot of people scoring four this morning, so I thought I'd get an older gentleman on um, to have a go and see if you could get more than four. Do you think you'd be able to do it? <laughs> we'll always try. Do you know how to play? Not really. Oh, well, all you've got to do is watch your TV screen and say power when you think uh, you'll hit the spaceship, okay? Righto. This is great. You won't win anything, of course. It's just all for fun. Right. Okay, you've got 15 seconds, Ron, and it starts right now. Pow. You have to be quick, Ron. Oh dear, Ron, how are you going to live this down? You didn't score one. <laughs> oh well. Average on his, his own games. Yes. Well, thanks for having a go anyway, Ron. Bye, Say ta to Andrew for me. Bye, Ta-ra. Ta Bye. Oh, gee, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? Poor old Ron didn't get any. His sons showed him up to get him four. We're waiting for Diana Smith now, our second lady contestant this morning, who lives at Lauderdale. And here she comes. Good morning, Diana. Hello. How old are you? Nine and a half. You're nine and a half. Now look, Diana, surely you must be able to get more than four. Do you think you can? Yes, I think I can. You think you can? Oh, this is confidence. Confidence. Then I wish you the very best of luck. You've got 15 seconds, Diana, and it starts right now. I thought you was going to do it. You went a little bit crazy there. I thought yeah. for sure you were going to get it. Mm. But never mind, you'll still get a book that we'll post out to you, okay? Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for playing, Dan. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, she was very enthusiastic, that one. Well, our next, I think um, Robin James would be a girl, too. Uh, yes, I should imagine it would. All we're doing now is waiting for Robin to... Here she comes. Robin? Yes? Yeah. Good morning. How old are you? 
Seven. You're seven, are you? And which school do you go to, Robin? Springfield Gardens. You go to Springfield Gardens. Well, I'd like to say hello to all the children from Springfield Gardens. And you'll be able to um, see Robin. She's been, had a voice on the telly. She'll be pretty famous when you go to school, OK? Have you been watching this morning? Yes. Good. I hope you can get more than four. It's real easy. All you've got to do is just say pow before you think it's going to go into the circle. Are you ready to play? Yes. I wish you the best of luck. Off you go. Heavens to Murgatroyd, I think he's got it. No! Oh, no. I don't believe it. I don't know what we're going to do. Well, two people in this bracket have got four. Two people in the last bracket got four. And, and um, little Scott Calvert in the first bracket, in the second bracket, got four, too. That's one, two, three, four. Five people have got four. Well, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I think we might go and watch a cartoon and we might get back to you all, okay? Oh, there, you can see it on your screen now, game three. Andrew Mitchell Moore got four, Diana got three, and Robin got four. Strange thing about this number four. Well, what, I, what we'll do is um, just keep watching your TV screens and you'll find out what's going to happen, okay? Okay, Robin? Yes. Okay, thank you for playing. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> okay, well, we'll go and um, have a look at H&R Puff and stuff while we... Try and work out this terrible score this morning, okay? See you in a while. And welcome back to probably our most exciting game yet. We've got um, one, two, three, four, five tiebreaker contestants in this round. Dean Chaveau, Michael Spilsbury, Scott Calvert, Andrew Mitchamore, and Robin James. Dean has apparently gone to play hockey, so his mother's going to play for him. And that's who we're waiting for a call now. Who we have on the line, I believe. Good morning. Turn your telly down. Margie? Hello? I just... Well, we'll get back to them. No worries. What you can win today is um, the major prize winner will win our illustrated atlas of the modern world. Also, Sarah Dane book. Channel 6 is showing this at the moment. And a theatre pass for two people. Which is, what? how much does it cost to get in the theatre now? Oh, it's worth about $10. That must be worth good heavens above. So that's what the, the major prize winner will win. Every winner of um, each bracket will win a Sarah Dane book, as I showed you before. And everybody today is going to get one of these one of these little books. It's all about all sorts of different things. This is a good one. I was looking at this one before. We've got a a phone on the line, so I can't tell you about it. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Is that you, Margie? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Dean's gone to hockey, has he? Yes. Oh, what a shame. Okay, do you know how this works? Well, I think so. Uh, what part of the world do you come from? Uh, from Hobart. You're from Hobart, are you? you oh, sound, yes. You sound foreign. Uh, has been about third generation, I think. Oh, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to give you 30 seconds of this tiebreaker, so as we get, um... A big difference in the score, okay? Okay. Right, you ready? Right. Off you go. Pow! 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 To nine. Now remember pow. though we're playing 30 seconds this pow. time. Pow. 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 Did you enjoy that, Margie? Yes, yeah, 13 is oh, a lucky number. I wonder who will be today. Well, we'll find out. That's 13 for Margie, so well done. That's um, the highest score we've ever had on TV Power, but we've never played a 30-second game before. No, that'd Thank be you wise. for playing. Okay, then. I hope Dean wins his hockey. Oh, so do I. <laughs> Okay. Who's, he, who's he playing? Um, I'm not sure. Um, oh, that's one of the other schools. He's oh. playing along at Harris School. Okay. Right, okay. thanks for playing. Ta-da. Cheerio. Right, that's 13 for Dean.